Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Uh, once again, if you're new to my channel, make sure it's the subscribe button and also that notification icon. I'm going to be rolling with the Dallas Cowboys uh, as my team. And the reason why is I'm actually going to be building out a Dallas Cowboys offensive scheme uh, and defensive scheme. On particular offense, it's going to be a doubles scheme. We're going to be able to have access to, to roughly about five different formations uh, it, it quickly in your quick audibles and be able to go and attack your opponent. Right here, I had a wide open post route, but the the ball sails on me on the first play of the very beginning of the game and goes into uh, his defensive back, uh, which is he's playing with the Chicago Bears, and I actually turned the ball over right away. The receiver was wide open, uh, but I, that ball just sailed. It just plain out sailed. So put him in a situation where he got a nice little turnover, and he was able to go ahead and get himself uh, in uh, scoring territory. Now I'm going to be running uh, a different defensive setup. And this is going to be out of the 43 normal. I'm still using the safety blitz to bring my safeties down. Uh, but now, because it's a 43 normal, I actually have um, a, a more diverse playbook uh, that I can I can use against my opponent to mess up his read. So uh, this is something I'll be breaking down on my channel too, so I want you guys to check that out. I'll break down the full uh, scheme, uh, the offensive scheme for the Cowboys. I'm going to put that on my Patreon for my Patreon members. So uh, basically, second and ten situation, I go ahead and hit him, hit him with a, a cover two blitz, uh, get some pressure off there, almost intercept the ball right there. Second, uh, third and ten situation, I hit him with a corner blitz right here. I didn't, haven't really labbed this play too much. Uh, the reason why I have the corner blitz set up is just so I've, I have some kind of a counter uh, to someone that likes to roll off this, uh, with this quarterback. So do a nice little inside run right here. Actually had a nice little punt to get the ball down to, um, to sit down inside the ten-yard line. I'm picking some pretty good yards uh, with Zeke uh, right over the middle. Uh, they get it down to the 25-yard line. So now I switch into one of my new favorite plays out of this Cowboys offense, which is it's like a play-action shot play right over the middle. And the wide receiver over the middle actually will get good separation against the majority of the defenses out there, and you can get a good 20- or 30-yard gainer. So right now I move up my, the field position. Go into a dagger play out of the double single. Uh, and basically, I'm looking high low. I'm looking for the crossing route right here. Beasley's wide open. I'm able to go and turn that up. Broken a tackle. Get it down to the 32, 33 yard line. And I go, I think I know huddled this type of situation. And I take a shot up top. I was He was running a lot of man coverage, so I actually took a shot up top, but not able to come down with the ball. So second to ten situation, I go into curls, and uh, he actually gets a really good block shot with Cleo Mack off the right-hand side. I couldn't let my routes develop. So uh, third and 18 type of situation, he gets another block shot with Leonard Floyd. He gets me down into the 50. So since I really didn't see too much with his offense, I go ahead and pump the ball back to him. So he gets the ball back down um, on the 20-yard the line. I'm running, this is kind of a cover three or cover five shell. It's got really good coverage. It's got really good run uh, run support. And I actually go ahead and, and, and stop him for a two-yard gainer. Come with a cover two blitz. Actually, his, uh, his running back actually picks it up. And he's able to go ahead and get a first down off that nice little drag route. Of course, no huddles. I switch up my defense here a little bit. Stay in a cover two shell. Uh, I'm sending five. He actually has bad animation right here, and I'm able to go and tackle him for a loss. So second and 14 situation, I go into the corner blitz right here, just try to change things up. Uh, I probably should have switched into another defense, and I think I did right there. I actually switched into a different defense. Makes a nice little read right here with a little out route with his uh, wide receiver to get a first and 10. So back into this cover five defense right here. I've got uh, basically my two guys playing uh, quarters. He looks down to the flat. He actually chucks it down to a spot rod. He's able to go and get some pretty good yards. So he's doing a really effective job actually carving up my defense. So now I go ahead and hit him with a man uh, with a man blitz. And uh, basically, I've got to watch Robinson in the slot because I'm using the middle linebacker over the middle. And as you can see, I'm actually trailing. Now, if he would have just tapped that that ball, he probably would have completed a big play over the top. But because he hesitated with the read right there, I'm able to go ahead and sack him and get him in a third and 12 situation. So right here, I'm playing around my defenses. I put a mid read or a mid uh, third in the middle. I put spy up one of my guys. I leave the seam flats uh, up. And I actually, I just have a. I just was ma mess messing around with this defense right right here and I leave a lot of holes uh, in the coverage and actually in this type of situation he makes a good read so he's got a little drag route uh, right off the left he makes a good read right there and actually picks up a first down with Burton so right now uh, he's actually got a fairly good effective drive so he's got 51 seconds left he's not rushing he's not hurrying up 
I'm going to go ahead and spy up one of my guys uh, in case he runs out. And I think I set the spy right here. He actually redirects his running back, and I don't get the animation with my, my linebacker. He's able to get the ball down to the 7-yard line. And uh, he's just working the clock. I think he no huddled down there. 25 seconds left. Does a little uh, inside run with um, the running back right there. Takes the timeout. 21 seconds left. Second and goal right uh, situation. I crunch up my line. Put my uh, my uh, safeties in uh, yellow hook zones just to try to take away some routes over the middle. He takes out this quarterback. Gets really good animation right here, but I tackle him short of the first down mark. He actually goes out of bounds. So third and goal type of situation. I go into the goal line set, squish my line up. I, I don't want to let him uh, let him get the uh, the QB QB die or uh, the you know uh, dive right here and actually get really good animation. My guy comes down and he sells us for three going into halftime. So I'm down three to nothing, and he's getting the ball back in the second half. So I got to get a defensive stop. Stay with my cover five defense. He goes in a draw, which usually should eat a play like that up, but I uh, actually get really good animation uh, with my line. I stop him for a one yard loss. Cue up the man blitz. He's had some problems with this earlier, and uh, right here I actually I'm, I'm manning up over the center, uh, trying to go ahead and take away one of his blockers right here. He hesitates. He doesn't make the right read. He actually could have hit the corner out, uh, and he doesn't make the right read. So third and twenty one situation. I jump into, I believe, a cover nine defense, and this is actually a really good defense to use against your opponent in a long situation because the way the coverages actually fall back. They fall back deep. They play a lot of the deep zones. Even the corner does. So right there, he settled to go. He has to settle by punting back. So right now, I come back into the halfback shark uh, shark wheel. Then I jump into this play action post route. And I'm looking for that post right over the middle. You can see the defender does not play it. And if I get good animation, I can I can get a nice 25-yard gainer. So I actually move field position right now. I'm getting close to scoring territory. Hit him with the inside zone. I haven't ran the ball a lot. This scheme is it, it does have run plays in it, but I, I don't really depend on the run a lot. No huddle him right in here. Going to the the 01 trap, uh, which is another play I'm going to have in part of the scheme. And actually uh, miss my blocks, but I'm able to go and pick up some positive yardage. No huddle again. Jump into uh, the uh, dagger play out of the the doubles uh, single back right here. He's he's follows the chases the guy across the middle, which I hit him with him earlier, and that that's how that inside that inside route the dig route is wide open. So right back to the 0-1 trap again. And um, no huddle, and actually he misses his tackle completely. Get down to the one-yard line, and uh, I'm going to jump into, uh, I'm still polishing up an offense down in the red zone. Uh, I wanted to try to use a lot of the double sets for red zone offense, so I, I have that to, to my disposal. But I don't really like, to, like what I've got so much, so I'm actually going to have to put together a red zone offense for the Cowboys. But able to go and get it in with a little pitch play. Back to the cover five defense. Uh, this is uh, basically got those those two quarters that actually shuts down that run very effectively. As you can see, I got guys in position right there. So he, his run is pretty much locked up. You know, only getting three yards um, on, on a run like that is actually good. So right here actually goes ahead and it hits the flat. I get a bad animation, but I'm able to go and tackle him short. Second and two situation, I go ahead and hit him with a, uh, a cover two blitz right here. And looking to try to defend. He actually hits the flat right there. Defensive back actually comes up after he gets the first down. But uh, not, didn't let up in a big play, and that's uh, that's a good situation. So now he's in an ace, um, an ace gun formation. He makes a switch with his defense. I'm playing hard flats to try to take away the flats right there. And um, he runs right into the defender, and he picks up a modest yardage right there. He picks up four yards. That's actually a win on offense. But... Um, able to go ahead and frustrate him with his runs. So right here is a cover three uh, look. I've got my safeties down, so I'm showing them that cover five look. I spy up my def defensive tackle. I want to go ahead and make sure that if he cr scrambles out, that takes away his reads. And right here he takes a shot up top. I get great animation uh, and user pick him and actually go ahead and take the ball down to the 40, 50 yard line. Get some good animation right there down to the 45 yard, 46 yard line right there with Woods. So that was a great play right there. I go ahead and jump back into my doubles play. One of the base plays I'm actually picking is going to be the halfback draw in this game. So back into the draw right now. Um, looking at the defense, I've actually got, I, I, I'm using um, the angle smash concept. Streak up my tight end. And uh, right here, I'm actually, I, I hit the outside receiver um, and actually get a nice little completion with Cooper right there. Because he had man coverage. So back into the shark wheel. 
is one of my base plays. Uh, go ahead, and I'm looking off the flat, looking at the crosser. The flat is wide open with, with Zeke. I'm able to go and get a nice little first down, making him think about that. Go back into the run with the inside zone in this type of situation. Clock's ticking down. I, if I get three points, it's a good situation, uh, but I want to go and get a touchdown, and his, his defensive backs are nowhere to be found. So I'm able to go up 14-3 uh, to three in this type of situation. So two minutes and 11 seconds left. He's in, a, he's in a bind. He needs to get a quick score with this offense. Takes off with Mitch Trubisky. He actually makes a nice read right here. His tight end actually pulled off. I pulled off his tight end uh, to go and play the run, uh, play the quarterback, and actually makes it really good right there. Go with the the corner blitz uh, off the edge. He actually takes off this quarterback once again. He doesn't have any reads whatsoever, and able to go ahead and settle for uh, a, a quarterback thing right here. So jump into the man blitz. This is a this has been a splash play for me the entire game. It seems like he doesn't really have any reads uh, for the man blitz. And uh, right here I actually get a uh, pretty good uh, animation. But as you can see right here, actually he had a comeback rock. That was a right re that was a right choice, but he got rid of the ball quick. And that's one of the bad things about playing with an inexperienced quarterback like, like Trubisky. He gets happy feet. Sometimes he makes a missed throw uh, and when he throws a little bit too early. So right here I actually get a nice little swat animation against the corner route he actually beat with me before. And I'm going into a cover two shell. I think I go ahead and put some cloud flats out here to go and play underneath. And um, I'm actually trying to use her. And right here, my corner uh, corner is able to come up with a big play and pretty much shut this uh, uh, shut this guy out. So. Once again, my subscribers, thanks a lot, guys. I, I get a rage quit against my opponent. I'll be rolling out um, a Cowboys scheme and um, some other schemes uh, with the Cowboys playbook, 43 normal playbooks. So stay tuned on my channel. And if you want to see the full breakdown of the Cowboys scheme, make sure you go and check out my, my uh, Patreon account. Uh, thanks a lot. Until next time.